Welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Mass Channel. I'm now answering question number three from the January 2024 Pure Mathematics P1 International A Level at Excel paper. And this question here, we have part A is just a question on differentiation. And I think part B is one of the applications of this differentiation. So we want to find the y dx. So we have y equals 5x cubed minus 8 um, over 2x squared. And they've told us in this particular um, function, x can x is greater than 0. Okay, x is always positive. And we're asked to find dy dx, writing your answer in simplest form. So when we have an um, expression like this in P1, what we're going to do is we're going to separate this into two separate terms so then we can differentiate it. P1, we haven't learned any other type of techniques. So what we will do here is we will write every term as a separate term. What you cannot do is you cannot just differentiate the numerator and differentiate the denominator and write the answer as if that's it. You can't say, okay, this is 15x uh, squared over 4x. You can't do that. That doesn't work. Okay, when you have a, a quotient or you have a product, you cannot work in that way. So for us in P1, what we must do is we must write each term or split this fraction into two separate fractions. So the first thing we do, we haven't started differentiation, so don't write dy dx in the next line. Even though we're going to eventually find dy dx, you only write dy dx when you have started to differentiate. Because what's, what I'm going to write next is not dy dx, it's just the same thing but written in a different way. So I'm going to split this into two separate fractions, which is like the opposite of subtracting two fractions. So we're going to write this as 5x cubed over 2x squared minus 8 over 2x squared. It's like that's what this would be before you got that, if you were going in the opposite direction, if you were uh, subtracting the two fractions. Okay, so now we have them as two separate terms. We're going to simplify each term as much as we can. So the x squared and the x cubed will cancel out, leaving you with 5 over 2x. It's a power of 1. And here, the 8 and the 2 cancel out to give you 4 on top. And you have 1 over, it's like 4 over 2 times 1 over x squared. So you're left with 2 times x to the power of negative 2. 1 over x squared can be written as x to the power of negative 2. Any x term in the denominator must be written in the numerator before you start to differentiate. So now we can differentiate this. Now we're ready to, to differentiate. So now we say we write dy dx. Do not write dy dx before you start differentiating. Um, so 5 over 2x becomes just 5 over 2 because you just lose the x. It's like you have x to the power of 1. You multiply by the power. The power becomes 0. Okay, and then... You know, 1 times 5 over 2 is 5 over 2, and x to the power of 0 is 1, so it just goes. So any x term, you just lose the x. And here we multiply by the power, so minus 2 times minus 4 is positive 8. Be careful of the sign. And then you take 1 from the power, so remember minus 2 minus 1 is negative 3. So that's dy dx. We can leave it like this. We can also write it, if you want, as 5 over 2 plus 8 over x cubed. That's also fine. Okay, this is probably a better way to write it if you're going to substitute something in, which I think we're going to do. So I'm just going to go to part B now. So we know that dy dx, I'll just write it here, dy dx was 5 over 2 plus 8 over x cubed. That's what we found dy dx to be. So it says here, part B, the point P24 lies on the curve C. So it lies on this curve somewhere. Find an equation for the tangent to C at p okay so the tangent to the curve at p so if you draw a curve if you have a curve so i mean i'm just going to draw a random curve i'm i'm not saying this is what this curve looks like at any point but supposing you have a, um, a curve and you have a point on the curve say this is the point p and you want to find the equation of the tangent now the tangent to a curve is a straight line which just brushes the curve at that point. So it will be a straight line that just touches the curve at the point that you want to find the tangent. Now, the tangent and the curve share two things at the point P. One of them is the coordinates of the point P is on the tangent and the curve. And the other thing that they share is the gradient. The gradient of the tangent is the same at the point P. The gradient of the tangent and the curve is the same at the point P. So if I can find the gradient of the tangent, 
that will be the gradient of the curve, sorry, at P. That will be the same as the gradient of the tangent. So we found dy dx for this, for this function. dy dx is equal to 5 over 2 plus 8 over x cubed. So what we need to do is we need to find what dy dx is when x equals 2 at p. At p. At p, x equals 2. That will tell me the gradient of the curve at p, which will be the same as the gradient of the tangent. Okay, so this, the gradient of the tangent at p is equal to, okay, um, the same as dy dx when x equals 2. So th this will be the same as the gradient of the tangent at p. So it's going to be 5 over 2 plus 8 over 2 cubed. Okay, which is 5 over 2 plus 1. Okay, so you have 5 over 2 plus 8 over 2 cubed is 1, which is 2 over 2. Okay, and that's going to give me 7 over 2. So that's the gradient of the tangent at P. So now we can say Y minus Y1 equals M times X minus X1. Some of you would like to use Y equals MX plus C. I personally prefer this, especially for a question of this type where you have the gradient as a fraction. Anyway, y minus 4, y1 is 4, equals m, which is 7 over 2, times x minus x1, which is 2. We can now, if we want to write it in this form here, where a, b, and c have to be integers, I'm going to multiply by 2 to get rid of the fraction. So this becomes 2y minus 8 equals, and this is 7 times x, which is 7x, and 7 times minus 2, which is minus 14. Um, I'm going to write it such that the x term stays positive. So I'll write this as 7x minus 2y and plus, you have minus 14 plus 8, minus 14, and you add 8 to that, that's going to give you um, minus 6, and that's equal to 0. Okay, minus 14 plus 8 is, is negative 6. And um, yeah, that's, that's the answer. So 7x minus 2y minus 6 equals 0 and that is the equation of the tangent to the curve at C. Alright, so there's the answer. You can also use y equals mx plus c like some of you might prefer to do so and it's fine if you do. Um, I personally don't prefer to use this method. I like to use this. It makes everything easier when you especially have fractional uh, questions and you'll appreciate I think more when you get to um, P3 and these other top, these other chapters or these other units. So anyway, if you want to use this method, 4 instead of y, 7 over 2 instead of x, and 2 instead of, sorry, 7 over 2 instead of m and 2 instead of x, so we can find what c is. They cancel out, we're left with c is equal to negative 3, 4 minus 7, so we're left with y equals 7 over 2x minus 3. Now remember, we want to write it in this form, so we can't leave it like that. If it said write it in the form y equals mx plus c, we could leave it in this form, but they say no, we want to write it in this form. So I'm going to multiply everything by 2 to get rid of the fractions. So I'm going to have um, 2y equals 7x minus 6. So I have 7x minus 2y minus 6 equals 0. Well, it's the same thing, all right? 7x minus 2y. See, as you see, you get the same answer in the end. Okay, so... This is like two different methods you could use. One of them is using this form formula and the other one is using this formula. Whichever one you want to use is absolutely fine. Um, and that concludes part B. And I think that's the end of this question. Yes, it is. So that's the end of question number two, or number three, sorry, from the January 2024 Pure Mathematics P1 International A-Level Edexcel exam. Other questions from this paper can be found in the playlist, which will appear at the top right of the, of the screen at the end of this video. Other questions from the topic of um, differentiation and its applications can be found in the playlist over here um, for P1 of those topics. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link and you can watch a video which is linked at the top here which shows you how to use my channel to find what you are interested in. Thank you for watching and see you soon.